Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'll be doing a solo run of this week's Featured Master Nightfall, which is a disgrace. We haven't had that in quite a while. You can see I'm doing it on Warlock, I'm doing it on Stormcaller. Uh, all the mods, everything I'm using on the armor is here in the build. Uh, I'm using Wish Ender for anti-barrier, I'm using Nation of Beasts for Unstoppable, and I'm using Seventh Seraph Saw, just, just to kind of clean up anything else. Uh, I'm running Chaos Reach. All the fragments uh, and aspects that I used are in the build. This is what I've got on my artifact. I'm using Crown of Tempest with Chaos Reach now. Geo Mags extend the, the duration of it, but, uh, Chaos Reach, but uh, uh, Crown of Tempest increased your ability regeneration. So for me, that was more important than having another five or ten seconds on the super because our abilities are going to be doing a lot of work in here so a lot of arc a uh, bit of solar but mostly arc although the boss has a solar shield but obviously we can break through any shields with any element so not really a big deal but what you're going to find here is in, in sections of this nightfall part of the problem is that the barriers come in pairs most quite quite a lot of the time so Especially right at the start here, the barriers are going to push the stairs pretty quickly, but they're going to shield uh, the the vandals and whoever else is coming to have a look at you. So you can't really do anything. So what we're going to be doing is try, trying to isolate some of the ads. So you can see there, I'll just take cam and then I'll stick a grenade. Now, fun fact about grenades, and I find a lot of people don't do this. Uh, when when you're when you're throwing grenades, especially in an area like this, right? Especially in an area like this, where you know that the ads are gonna, well, oh, just throw a grenade there, where the ads are gonna be uh, in and around the champions, or the champion can back away into into cover, right? Throw your grenade at the side of the champion or ad, throw it where you don't want them to go. Because very rarely will they back back into a grenade. Right? So we just want to get some ability regeneration here so I can get another rift. So if you, if I was to throw for talking six, if I threw a grenade to the left of the champion I'm hitting now, he uh I'll just put a rift back down in a second. He he wouldn't if I throw it to the left of him now, break his shield, get the rift down. He wouldn't teleport to the left. You see how they're kind of blocking each other? And I've got ads coming in. I need the breath. And I also need to keep breaking this champion. Because with them being together, just throw a grenade here. If I get a super, I could just fire the super like this. And it will kill any ads, even though they're being shielded. So you can see here we just there we go. That's one champion gone. Makes things a little bit simple. I've got my rift back. The idea of, I'd say, having the exotic helmet is to get the ability regeneration. Uh, the, this isn't the only place this happens where they double down. Uh, but right off the bat, it is quite annoying that as soon as you come in here, uh, you're going to have to deal with this. So now we, we know we've got ads up top on the left. We know we've got ads to the right. Uh, 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 where, where, where we were just aiming. We'll just see if we can do something about any of these ads. Now, it's another fun point. Uh, we have well little Ox, old buddy. Any kills, or anybody he marks, that even if you get the final kill, but if he marks them with arc damage, because obviously you, he'll apply Jolt, I will get ability energy for any of the ads. Even if I kill them with a weapon, I will get ability uh, I'll get a certain amount of my abilities back. We'll just take these two captains out with my heavy. Uh, we'll just throw a grenade over there. So e even if you mark them with arc damage, but you kill them with a weapon, you will still get some of your abilities back. I'm just what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get Mark Buddy to mark some of these because if he marks them, I get the kill. See how he's lit up there? I get the kill. It will produce an, an ionic trace for me. So, see that ionic trace trying to make its way back? 
what I came out here was see if I could if I could deal with once you clear out the ads in this room you're gonna get another champion and another set of ads uh, coming from the center for some reason this this vandal he didn't want it he didn't want to take damage Another great thing about the Wish Ender is obviously you get what people commonly refer to as wall hacks. So here there's a there's a set of enemies coming with a champion, I'll throw a grenade, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop my super. I know it's not gonna do anything really to the champion because he'll shield, but all the ads that were coming through with him. Uh I'll just put my rift down here. All the ads that were coming through. Uh put myself in a bit of a bad position here, but it's it's no problem. All the ads that came through, I was hoping that it would deal with those. I just want him to start taking some damage off the grenade. You see there, my 7th Seraph is going to chew through him. So, when you come in here, you're going to get two barriers. And you'll have two barriers at the staircase. Take them out. Sometimes one of them runs. They don't always both come at you. And then once you've cleared the majority of the ads in the room, uh, and those ads in the room will consist of... Uh, a whole bunch of ads up to the left where we just were, just just to the left of where we're aiming now. Uh, there'll be uh, shanks that will come, and as soon as you kill the shanks, then you'll get invisibles. Then you'll get another bunch of ads. Once you clear those, then those lasers go away from the door, and you get another champion with some ads. So a lot of ads in that first room. This, it's it, that's the thing about the strike. It's very. It's, the, it's, it's how confined the areas are. I'm not going to let him reshield for too long. Uh, you're in a position where the ads, your ads are nearly, they always feel like they're on top of you. Uh, so, you, you, you want to do things safely from, from a certain distance. But it's really difficult to range this. So as you can see, there's, there's a bunch of wizards out here. There is a champion. A lot of barriers, you don't really get a lot of, uh, I'm just trying to make sure that I, I don't want to kill all the wizards because the wizards are doing us a, a favour here. I want to kill the vandals. The wizards are helping because they're attacking uh, the barrier as well. So break his shield again, and a grenade out, and a grenade will do a bit of damage to him and his buddies. As you can see, I can I can couple my grenade damage with uh, the seventh Zerath, which I mean the one I'm using's got auto load and holster and Vorpal. It's, it's it's half decent. Now I know Vorpal probably isn't on everybody's first choice when it comes to perks, but it's still a it's still a free ten percent damage increase. You know, on heavies, primaries I think it's ten uh, twenty, and uh, energies it's fifteen. So it scales. Uh, Wish Ender obviously does a good good job against most uh, shields. It will break. I think the boss is solar, so I think it breaks the boss's shield in three shots. Now, bearing in mind I'm at this moment, I think I'm 1823. So I'm still three. I've still got two levels until I'm as powerful in this strike as I can be, because you you you're running on a 15 deficit. GMs are 25, Masters are 15, Legends are 5. A bunch of ads coming in. So so let's talk about this area, how, what to look for. When you come out, you've got two barriers. One in this room, the one we killed up there, you're going to have a whole bunch of wizards, a whole bunch of uh, acolytes and um, vandals. And then you get a couple of waves of these guys. You get, uh, you've got the Arc Cannon guys, and then you get... These, these two sword knights spawn further down. Once this, once all the kind of relevant ads are down, then the two shriekers become active. Normally, 90% of the time, when they become active, no other ads will push you up here. Now, I don't suggest going out into the open area, so past that opening in front of us, we can see a heavy brick that line, because once you start going out there, the shriekers can shoot you. And you can take them very easily, as you've seen with Wish Ender. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to toss a grenade over there. I never hit the boss. It was, wasn't was a great the champion. You've got a barrier up here and a barrier 
almost same location but to the right you can just see them on the right hand side now these have always been two of the most annoying barriers not because uh well it's because of the situation but not because they've got a tactical advantage over you it's because if you break their shield with anything big you'll just knock them off at like they'll knock them off the podiums and and then they'll regenerate where you can't shoot them so hopefully well, this is a better grenade yep it's tagged some enemies unfortunately what i like to do is put it on the boss just put my my rift down put it on the boss i put my rift down because i know i've got ionic traces coming in so as you can see i'm nearly 50 percent of my rift energy back you know and if you've got that's something I try and do. If I know I've got ionic traces coming in, then I, then I will use my too far. The gun. I, I, can, I can tell that even with that throw. It was far too far. If I know I've got ionic traces coming in, then I'll just bite the bullet and use all the abilities I can. Because I know I'm going to get ability energy back. It's like a waste if I don't. You know, I find it a waste, and maybe a waste is the wrong word, but it's a prime opportunity to use my rift and my grenade if I've got ionic traces coming back because I know I'm going to get refunded energy. There we go, that's th that's those two barriers. There's another two barriers. Just, I'll just try to take out some of these acolytes because they, on their own, one acolyte isn't really going to cause you too much hassle. But, two acolytes together? I mean, it's, it's, and plus one of the modifiers for this, one of the modifiers, is you take the, the enemies, throw more grenades. So, you know, a couple of acolytes together and you could be in trouble. Now, I'm taking a risk here because I don't, ha I'm, I'm attacking him. I just want to break his shield again. I'm attacking him. I don't have a rift. So I want him to jump out and take the full blast from this. I will have to break his shield again, but he regenerated so much health. I'm wanting him to shield up again. I can't allow him to regenerate, but that's the thing. I don't have a rift. So, the issue with coming here, you can see those little thin bars block your shots. Now I'm just going to throw my grenade melee. Now your grenade and your melee work really well together if you're amplified. Your melee will, 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 will thingy a couple of times. I'm just now going to go after him with my super. I've had enough of him. I've had enough of these two champions regenerating. And there we go. There's one champion down. And because... See there. Because uh, I've done decent damage. I'll just try and take this guy here. And then it's just me and the champion. Uh, there we go. It's just me and the champion now. And because I've got auto-load and host. I'll just throw my grenade down. Because I've got auto load and my machine gun will regen, uh, uh, reload itself while I've got it uh, stored, which is brilliant. Now I'm just going to go and have a little look for any heavy, try and pick up some sort of go into the next area with as much heavy as possible. I'm reading dense hive signatures in a facility up ahead. I don't like this. It feels like a trap. Spoil their plans. So we've got my heavy and guess what it's two barriers here <laughs> it's the it's a common theme that barriers you know the uh you know you've got ads you can see there you've got ads they'll push you because the the champions stay in such it's 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 a really bad for me it's a really bad design flaw with champions the locations so because there's two of them together uh, even though get the break on him I'll never be able to kill this champion even if you kill one because of the proximity uh, the other one just, I should put a rift down grenade mark him with the alt body uh, even if you kill one, the other one will shield any any enemies in the area. So you, even though if you kill one, you're still having to deal with shielded enemies. Again, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy, but it is a design flaw, as far as I'm concerned. 
with I remember when they brought Masters in uh, and it was like going from Legend to Master it was like oh cool just put double the amount of champions in and it seemed like there wasn't enough room to put those champions in but now that we're used to it we found ways to combat it and it's not so bad but it still is annoying when you've killed a champion like oh these ads can still hit me and kill me but I can't do anything to them because they're shielded by the other champion so 14 minutes in and here we are we're at a point where now we're going to be dealing with Navota and I mean I know it doesn't happen very often and it, it, it's kind of an anomaly but we're going to get two barrier champions pushing this but again these this is a problem for a different reason because obviously I'm not I'm not wanting to throw my grenade this is why because I know I've got a bunch of ads coming and I want to save my grenade for the, the onrush of ads now the great thing about uh, Wish Ender is it over penetrates so if they're running at you like that in a straight line you can kill two or three of them with one shot. Now, I would suggest backing, backing away back to these pallets. I'm just going to throw the grenade, as I've already said, at the area I do not want this champion to go back to. So, I'm just going to pummel him. And we'll break his shield again. Now, we can kill this first one. Now, these champions, they do... They hit... I mean, they hit hard. So, even though he's backed away, I st and you can see there, still having issues. I, I, I would have got this done on stream last night. I had to cut my stream short last night because of the problems of getting disconnected and not being able to go in and do anything. So, I'd done this. I actually come off. I said I might come back on stream. I didn't because I went to sleep. Uh, and when I woke up, it was like midnight here or something. I was like, I need to get this done. So the servers have been fixed for a while, but as you can see with that champion, uh, not super fixed. I just got to pop my super. The minute I pop my super, she moved. So she never took the full brunt of that super. So be very careful here. Because there's, uh, effectively, there's three wizards here. And the minute you break a wizard shield, they will run for the hills. You'll see this boss. You'll see uh, Navolta. Uh, the minute I break her shield, fortunately for me, she's doing very repeatable movements. So she's going from like the same place left to right, so I can track her very easily. But they'll get to a point where doing damage here. You don't have to take it full of our health bar down. But you'll get to a point where she'll let out a screech. And that brings out, they can see there, that brings out the next two champions, which, unbelievably, aren't both barrier. And these wizards hiding. What I'm going to try and do, it's really difficult to focus one when you've got, when, when you know there's another one. And I can't go too far forward, because you might just be able to see through the rocks there, that there is uh, an uh, unstoppable just round the corner, a big unstoppable ogre. So what I'm going to do is try uh, I'll put down a rift because I really want her out the way this last wizard. And once I break her shield and, and she's agreeable, uh, I will hit with my machine gun. And that should that should finish her off. You can see I'm already. You can see I just choose through her shield. And there she goes. So now. What I'm going to do is get my hand cannon out. Just make sure that there's no... There's always an exploder over there. Throw my grenade. Wait for unstoppable. Bosh. And then I'm going to put put some on... I'm not... I know I'm not going to kill the ogre in one sitting. So I'm prepared to do it to stop him again. Now I haven't went out to finish him. Because I'm worried about what's there. Is there any more exploders? So you'll see this very good grenade. I've tossed a grenade up there, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna wait because I know I've got a bunch of ionic traces now coming to me, and now I have my grenade back, and I've almost got my rift back. I should get my rift back with this ionic trace just about, and there we go. I've got my rift, so I can put that down. Now I know there aren't enough enemies up there for me to throw another grenade. So I'm going to try and just take out this captain that 
The guy that's really causing uh, the guy that's really causing me the hassle is the champion up top. I can see there. There's one more acolyte, but then there's this this barrier champion up top. Now, you can, as you've seen me do there, uh, you can kind of head glitch him a little bit, but he can also do that to you. If he keeps moving, see how now I'm missing on my. It, I think it was my aim, although it's not something that I'd normally have an issue with. But uh, I realised I was aiming slightly too high uh, but I thought for years that the bars up there would stop you getting hit by the barrier uh, would stop you stopping the barrier and I'm you know I'm being I'm being a little bit especially with him I'm being a little bit kind of you see I've gotten finished there I'm being a little bit uh, because he's got the high ground and he has an arc cannon and we're taking 25% more arc damage it's not you don't really want to be backing away because when he, if you break his shield and then you back away to get better shots, he gets better shots on you as well. So, two barriers. Where hey, this will be the last of our barriers uh, for this evening. So, we'll just get one of these guys out of the way. Luckily, the barriers don't don't self shield. So, do you know do you, do you know what I mean? Barriers don't shield barriers. That would be that would be a tough time. Can you imagine that? Two barriers constantly shielding each other. I think they used to. I don't anymore. There's no heavy back for me down there. So now we are at the boss room. I used to say, and it was just a rule of thumb, however long it took you to get to the boss, just a rule of thumb, you should expect to spend that amount of time at the boss. It's not quite the same now. I think she, like, she caught me off guard here because she came up here. Yep, I wasn't expecting that, so I'll just back away around here. I want to break her shield because I want to hit with my super. And we'll just put the whole super on her. And then we get my first mini wave of ads. That is the feature of this, this nightfall. So she's got a health bar, you can see she's got uh, four lines on it. Uh, once you break the lines, you get a bigger wave of... Once you, once you, you know, get rid of one super bar, one health bar, you, uh, you get a bigger wave of ads, right? And she, most of the time, when you break, break her shield... Uh, when you when you c take one of our one of those blocks of health, most of the time, she will change position. So she stays down here, and then when she teleports, she'll go up where we just were up on that platform. The next time, she will go back up onto the platform, and then for the last health bar, she'll come back down here. So what I try to do, when at all possible, is I rotate with her, right? So when she's down here, my safe space, if you like, so I know I've got ads coming in, so there's ads coming in behind me. I'm trying to let my arc buddy get, put some damage on them just to get that ability regeneration. Uh, when she's down here, I know my safe spot is up top uh, on that platform. Just throw a grenade on her. I know that if I go up top, I'm not safe, but I'm safer. So you can see, first health bar, gone. I know I'm getting my first big wave, and that consists of Arc Arc Knights. So I'll put my rift down. So I like to do this, this wave, because I know she's going up top. This first wave is down here, so let's finish this guy. So I'm, a, I'm in a good position being down here. A better position than I would be if I was up top. So, when she's down here for the first wave, when you take that first block of health off her, make sure you're down here. Don't be up top when that happens. Just throw a grenade, get that shared damage. Watch out for the acolytes. Is uh, uh, watch out for their uh, grenades because 
obviously the modifier is. They throw more of them, and you don't really want to be there when they're doing that. I'm just going from side to side here. I don't want him to fully regenerate self. Now, you've got that other Arc Knight there. Get down here, because they've got a good line on me. You've got that Arc Knight. You see, there's quite a lot of Acolytes up there. You've got that Arc Knight that we can see, but there's also one... I just, this is a good place. And he's not long for this world now. I'm taking a chance. There we go. Now, there is another Arc Knight just up to the right. He's actually in a little alcove. I always leave him to last. I think there's one more Acolyte up there as well. Yep, I can just see him. There we go. Bit heavy. Lovely. I'll throw a grenade up there. There's your last Arc Knight. Put down my Rift. Get my Arc Buddy. Get everything on him. And now I get a bit of... Bit of energy regeneration and now where we are now this is where we're going to attack her when she's up here you can see my arc buddy is on her and now super and unfortunately she went running so the super was pretty pathetic actually but it's all good just throw a grenade and just come come down here but be very mindful where we are now obviously you can see we've got enemies incoming you that because we've We've activated the first uh, set of enemies. Rotate. I know they're only throw, but rotate. Because if you stand there, it's, ah, they're just throw. I'll just punch them. They are melees. I'm pretty sure throws melees at arc. And it's not all. You're not always going to be lucky enough to just get uh, uh, a couple of throw. Exploders come here as well. Now I said about being very careful. Be very careful, because she, when she puts down that, that uh, when she puts down her poison, if you like, it will reach you underneath, so you still have to be pretty careful. Mark Buddy putting in some work there, now I think we're getting the first of our exploders. Hand cannon's pretty good, it's arc, so it does 25% more than it normally would. Uh... I'll put my. This is where I put my rift, and then I use my machine gun to break her shield. Jump up, put a grenade out of out of feet. You see the grenade chewing away at her. It's it's keeping her uh, busy, but I'm still watching to, because I'm still unsure where I am in the rotation. Am I gonna get uh, another wave of ads? There we go. So I, I do a bit of damage at these points. See now we've got more exploders. I'm alone, my Arc Buddy, the chance. And we've got our Riff back, so we're all good. We can just go back up here. Because I've got Bomber on, whenever I put my Riff down, I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to get Grenade Energy again. Just... Don't attack. I would suggest not to be attacking the Volta until you've got your grenade and mail and rift now she we have, we've reached halfway so because we've reached halfway i know i'm getting the second big wave and now the second big wave is an unstoppable again up top now what you have to be aware of uh i've got a rift i'll just put that down the mark buddy will start making uh energy for me just throw a grenade there, which will create even more energy. And it should, you know, stack all these things on top of each other. And I should get my rift back pretty quickly. And there, I've got my rift. So I can put the rift down if I so need. I've got my rift and my grenade back. That's the whole point of using uh, Crown of Tempest. So now that the, all the acolytes will push you. So I'll just finish. Just finish. <laughs> I wish that was a finisher from that distance. I'll just stop the unstoppable, and I'll charge, stop him again. As soon as you kill this unstoppable, and this is the, because it's been so long since we've had the disgraced, it's been so long that I I forgot. Once you finish him, you get two more ogres down at the bottom. So I'm waiting for Navolta, and then oh, <laughs> watch out because you get two more ogres at the bottom. <laughs> One of them's unstoppable, one of them's just normal. So, again, 
I'll stop for the normal one. And then I'm just, I'm not going to use my heavy because I, I need that, to, I, that, I'm in a routine now of breaking the water shield and, uh, and then using my abilities on it. So I'm just, I'm just going to use it on the unstoppable. I wouldn't use it on the normal, but I'm going to go down here to finish him just to save a little bit of heavy ammo. Easy money. Now Navota's going to come back up top where she was before right here so rift we'll go with the same routine and i'll break a shield and then super get the grenade and then super now this time she she took the whole super which is good but that means i definitely know i'm getting a wave of ads oh heavy again every time you get that wave of ads coming on you don't don't try and stand and fight them because exploders, arc melees, you just don't want. There's no need to do that. Rotate. So let's let's talk about the rotations. While we're up here, you're gonna have most the majority of your ads when they come in will come from the bot, right? I've got a grenade here. Let's put that beneath her. Most of your uh, enemies are gonna come from the bot, but you do have spawns. So they're coming from there, but you do have enemies that spawn to your left. Right? Just let Mark Buddy mark these. Now you just just get out of there. Just don't don't you know? There's no point in trying to hear all this. You know, you just want to do everything as safely and repeatably as you can. So what you do is break a shield, grenade, melee bit of damage make sure you're still in your well don't your rift sorry don't just that's another thing i see people do just because you put a well down doesn't mean you can't die of course you can die but just keep do a bit of damage to her see how easy that can happen i'm red ball because i'm you know i'm attacking without the right abilities And I'm doing that because she's so close to going to the mutant. Just checking for more ads. There we go. I have... I have everything I need. Just checking again. And she should go immune pretty soon. Again, just taking chances because... She's very close to going. She's got not got a lot left. So I just throw a grenade and then break a shield with a machine gun. I've got my super, but I don't want to use it. There we go. Now we get our well, last big wave of ads, but this this one seems like we get a lot. Uh, we will get another wave of this, but this is our last kind of massive wave and I think this is the only wave that doesn't contain a champion so it's all exploders and uh, is there a champion here I don't think so I think it's just arc shielded knights so where we are now we can deal with just about every you can see what I'm going to be doing is I'm looking for this arc knight because the last thing you want is a rogue a rogue arc knight uh, with a massive arc cannon popping you when you don't know where he is so I think he's over on the left yeah I just saw him there he's over on the left there see I couldn't I could I can't fully commit to him I think I can't fully commit to Navota because of him I'm not gonna mess about I can see him obviously but I can't do anything about him Unfortunately, he had a good thing going, and then he uh, he decided to mess it all up by trying to get the kill. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a grenade, put my rift down so that I I can keep getting keep getting that the, the keep getting those ionic traces. I know there's a lot more ads coming because these these waves of exploders they come in in groups like, and then there's another night. Very close. 
very close there. So a grenade and hopefully put down a rift so I can follow my own advice, which is to keep getting your ionic traces. And there we go, that's the so now the and there's another Alt Knight. I forgot about him. But he's much easier to take out. Still more of these exploders for once you take down this next set of exploders, then we're gonna we're gonna put it on the volta. Got my super, hopefully. I'll have all my abilities, which I do. I'll put a rift down. Grenade. And just pop the super. I messed up the first little bit of the super. And just put it on, and then we'll get another wave of ads. Put the rift down. And we'll be able to see at the bottom when the next wave comes in, so I won't have to keep... Uh, I won't have to keep checking. We can see there we've got one next wave of ads. And now I've got all my abilities just about. Throw that grenade down there, see if that does any 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 damage against the ads coming up that because there's a load of ads coming up that hill as well. You know, we have seen them at the bottom. It's not just you know that there, there is quite quite a lot of ads that come in together here. Two more knights, but you know, they normally do uh, come from that side. I know I've got more ads on the, the coming up the stairs. So I'll just put that grenade at the top of the stairs for them to walk into. Stick down my, my, my rift. Still more ads there. And we'll just hopefully Arc Buddy gets a little bit of love on him. Not, not enough to amplify him. And we've got Navota. Now this, what should happen here, should happen, is we should be able to, like, kill her. We should. So I'll put, at some point, I'll stick my rift down once I've put my super. You see the super just chewing away at her. Not got much left. Stick the rift down. And then hit her a couple more times. And then just use my last bunch of heavy. And there we go. So that is the solo master of, of uh, the solo master of the disgraced, and you can see I got quite a lot of rewards. This was a platinum. Uh, not you can't really escape platinum here, but platinum isn't needed. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. There will be a few more videos coming this week, uh, so stay tuned. Uh, I hope this this helps. I hope you'll have a go at this, maybe with a team or whatever. Take it easy, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Give a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.